I am Christina and I am a gamer. I like to play anything and probably everything. Playing is an intrinsic part of learning. It's our brain's way of testing new concepts or experiences in a simplified form. But nowadays, gaming is recognized as a mainstream medium, not only for entertainment. Uh, even a simple card game can be a fun and effective way of communicating complicated ideas. Many companies or websites use a concept called uh, gamification. It means that they use simple game mechanics like point gathering or leveling up to make a task more interesting. A more advanced approach is serious games. These are basically simulations of real-life situations meant to train or educate the player. Uh, serious social issues can be very well addressed through serious games by putting the player into someone else's shoes. Mm, for a game to work as a device for education or communication, it, it needs to have two things. It needs to have a message and it needs to be fun to play. When people think about educational games, they tend to overemphasize the first part and they forget that unless their game is actually fun and interesting to play, it will not really convey its message. The first ingredient is a story, or generally a context. This is what will make your message come to life. The second ingredient is evoking emotion. Now, I know it may sound a bit cheesy, but this is the most direct way of making people care. And when people care, they pay attention. Finally, you want to make sure that you appeal to the player's logic as well. Achieving a goal or solving a puzzle is what makes us feel rewarded. And it's true, to make a good game, a memorable game, you need to put thought and effort into it. But you don't need to do this alone. Ask a friend who is a gamer what they would find fun to play. Look for a gaming incubator where you will find young and talented people to help you build your game. Just share your idea with others. It will only make it better. Remember, we play better together.